Welcome back to Cypress Academy. This is PSOC 6 101. In this video, I will show you how to run free RTOS on a PSOC 6. So you ask yourself, why an RTOS? Well, when you have multiple cores, more memory, and higher CPU frequencies, you can do a lot more. When you build devices that have multiple sensors, multiple interfaces, multiple communication blocks, etc., you need help managing all of those resources and their access to the cores. An RTOS is used just for that purpose. They're there to help you manage the complexity of your design. Free RTOS is one of the most commonly used open source RTOSs in the embedded market. And so I think it's a great place to start. So let's get right into it. We're going to create a new project again. This time, we'll call it Hello World Free RTOS. Now, we're going to modify the build settings to automatically add Free RTOS into our project. Right click on the project in the Workspace Explorer and select Build Settings. Pick the Peripheral Driver Library, then click Free RTOS and choose your memory management scheme. You can read all about the memory management schemes on the Free RTOS website. In this case, we'll just keep the default, Heap 1. Hit OK. Then, we're going to add the digital output pen component, just like we did in the previous project. We'll call it red again, just like we did in the previous project, and we'll turn off the hardware connection. Then we'll go to the design-wide resources and assign the pen P03. Then I'll click Generate Application. Now this is really cool because when I click Generate Application this time, it's going to bring in all of the drivers that we need for the pen and all of the drivers we need for the core and the rest of the system resources. But it's also going to bring in the free RTOS. And so when we look in the generated source, after the generate application is done, you'll be able to see the free RTOS source. It also adds the free RTOS config.h template file into our project. Let's open up the free RTOS config file. This is the standard template from free RTOS. PSOC Creator copies it into your project and gives you the ability to set those configuration settings. It also puts a warning in the top of the file that when you build, it'll put out a warning on the console. The warning is there just to remind you to edit that file. However, all of the defaults are pretty reasonable. So all I'm going to do is comment out that warning. Now let's open up the main cm4.c file. I'll create a function called LED task using the standard free RTOS task function prototype that requires a void pointer as an argument. I'm not going to use that argument, so I'll just tell the compiler to ignore that argument by putting a void around it. Now all this task is going to do is infinitely write the GPIOs for the red pen. Instead of using the CY delay API like last time, I'm going to use the free RTOS task delay function, also known as V task delay. And I'll delay just as before for 500 milliseconds. Now in the main function, I'll create the task by using the free RTOS API command called X task create. I'll call it the LED task function. I'll give it a name, LED task. I'll assign a minimum stack size of 400. I'm not passing any parameters, so I'll put a null. And then I'll pick a task priority of one, and I don't need a task handle, so I'll give it a zero. Next, I need to start the free RTOS scheduler by calling the API vTaskStartScheduler, which starts and then never returns. Now I'll build and program this to test it to make sure it works right. Notice that we didn't have to include any of the free RTOS headers. Those are already included by default in the project.h once we change the build settings to include the free RTOS. Congratulations, 
you're now up and running with PSOC 6, and more specifically, you're running FreeRTOS in the Cortex M4 core. In the next set of videos, I'll walk you through the PSOC 6 peripherals that we're going to use for the BLE controlled robot arm. One step at a time though. You can post your comments and questions in our PSOC 6 developers community. Or, as always, you're welcome to email me at alan underscore haws at cypress.com or tweet me at askiotexpert. Thank you.